Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to get to today, and we're zooming in here on more of the small, weak-scale indications of high-latitude sunspot production gearing to come back later this year. We'll begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we continue to find the small coronal holes extending up from the south and the minor surface magnetic regions at the bright points, even if they don't have sunspots yet. The solar wind provided the only surprise as it looks like we did hit the heliospheric current sheet or perhaps endured one of the switchbacks described by the new Parker probe studies. Either way, there were only minor fluctuations in the physical and kinetic properties of the plasma stream, but the changing magnetism was enough to put some stress on the magnetic field, keep away that cosmic ray concern I mentioned in the previous show. Top quake of the last day was a 6.3 that struck in Papua New Guinea. While this would crack buildings in major U.S. cities, this region of the world can handle rumbles like this. They don't have a choice, practically come every month. Well folks, there is a considerable change underway to the winter theme of a hot east and cold west. The reason is the jet stream. The tropical air is now rushing northward along the Rockies, and the eastern half of the country endures the colder air from the north. We will get a storm concern heading into the Midwest states tonight. But there is a 50-50 shot our top storm report tomorrow will be out of Australia. Not a widespread threat forecast, but isolated regions here could see high winds and considerable storm conditions. Up next, let's go to the ESA and get an incredible look at the desert of southern Africa from space. A few of the images in particular are both beautiful and interesting, and what they say is the oldest desert in the world we still see the remnants of an ocean long ago. The white regions are salt concentrations, and the low-lying areas left over as the land emerged up out of the ocean, and the salinity was concentrated more and more as the water evaporated. Our other aesthetic piece today comes to us from Hubble, and as you might guess, it is not pointed down at Earth, but outward the other way. We're in the Large Magellanic Cloud looking at NGC 2014 and 2020, one of the more incredible sights in both majesty and contrast in the largest satellite dwarf galaxy of the Milky Way. Have you ever wondered which way the ground was moving beneath your feet, even at the tiny scales and slow speed? Well, for those in North America, you can now know. Both seismic risk, type of overall motion with inversions are available. Link is below with today's list. And we're scaling up fast to cosmology next. Every time they find these massive structures of luminous material in the universe, it amazes me just how much is hiding in plain sight. This one from low far is another notch for radio astronomy as the key to understanding the large scale dynamics and character of the universe. A friendly reminder that this thing going on has spilled over into other areas of our lives now. And since this Weather Channel article got confused as could possibly be in the title, I went ahead and fixed it for them. There you go. That's better. Anyway, folks, some disconcerting news here to close. It appears there was a nearly two-month dropout of solar polar magnetic fields data. While it is back up and running, apparently, the concern is the use of these patterns for earthquake forecasting. It's one of only four or five tools that we use. Also, this is how we predict sunspot cycles, both the return and the peak magnitude to come. Furthermore, I had been wanting the data from that exact time period to try to corroborate other data suggesting the sun cycle had switched gears back towards production. If you'll recall, December is when the sunspots began to come back a bit and we've seen those bright points ever since, even as the umbral cores have been less present. We can't do anything about it, unfortunately, but we do greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.